what is the possum update for local SEO in 2016? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, the five things that are the main things that you should be worried about or focused on. And uh, here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to know is that the uh, listings outside city limits are going to get spikes in traffic and rankings hopefully and that means service areas so people who have uh, listings that are supposed to be inside of a certain county or city that are kind of on the edge of it or completely outside of it but still are next to that city ha are definitely seeing uh, ranking increases which is awesome awesome possum <laughs> that was bad uh, another thing you're going to want to know is that there's more relevant searches uh, closer to the proximity of the business. So <clears throat> this has always been a thing if you're closer to the business of course you're going to be seeing more relevant uh, searches for that business in your in your area but they actually uh, apparently increase the relevancy signal um, so this is even more of a thing now uh, with the new possum update. Another thing that you're going to want to uh, know is that they're filtering out a lot of different rankings based on uh, associations with the uh, businesses that um, that you're associated with so basically if you have um, uh, another listing that has a similar name address phone number website or even some more advanced things that people have been noticing or at least guessing on about uh, having a possible uh, Google account association or maybe the same reviews or citations or even uh, on page signals um, they're they're gonna maybe filter out your uh, location um, and they also are focusing on how uh, how quality your rankings are so if if you have you know if you're if you're basically spamming your listing with uh, you know uh, fake reviews or uh, keyword stuffing that they're gonna pick on that pick up on that more uh, more now with the new update so another thing that's really cool, um, and this is one of the coolest things that I think um, is coming is coming up with the new update, is uh, the keyword variation. So um, having more uh, long tail uh, keyword variations on your on your website and, uh, um, is hopefully going to help you rank higher for uh, in the map for your listing. Um, so basically, if you have a bunch of services in your city and it's kind of based off your main keyword, so say we had computer repair and then we had computer repair service, uh, Google was picking these up before as like the same thing, but now they're, they're starting to show different results based on the different long tail queries you put in. So this is a really good opportunity to start building out your landing pages and start ranking for those more specific long tail queries in local. Uh, another thing that they're doing is they're apparently from what people have been seeing is um, the local filter is now ranking uh, the uh, listings on the map separate from like organic and of course they've always uh, in theory ranked these separate but it's it's uh, it's more of a if if you if you're doing bad on organic you can still be doing well on local and I actually have an example of this uh, I'm doing terrible in uh, in organic for uh, the keywords iPhone repair um, but my uh, my listing in local is doing really well I'm doing I'm number three for that um, so uh, some of the projections I have for this are uh, them uh, Google helping out um, people who are who are more relevant to what people are typing in so like we were talking about earlier uh, the long tail keyword uh, variations um, Google really wants to see that what you do is listed on your site like if you have if you do iPhone repair you better have an Android repair uh, page on your uh, on your website if you're trying to rank for um, Android as well if you're not just doing iPhone repair so so the people who are who have websites that literally say basically the same thing in every title tag I think those uh, websites are definitely going to be dropping in rankings um, for all the different long tail opportunities you'll be able to have in uh, in the map and then also um, I think they're gonna they're gonna pay more attention to uh, your name address phone number citations whether or not they're pointing to multiple 
um, uh, listings that have kind of the same uh, address. So if you have like a uh, an office that has multiple uh, Google My Business listings in it, so like you like your real estate agency and you have people who have uh, um, who have verified that are under your business um, on on that location, they're probably going to start getting filtered out. So you want to make sure that if you are, if you really are a different um, uh, business and you're under the same location, you really want to make sure that uh, your listing is is not even closely related to the other listing, um, and that and like it's like I said, it, when, like website. Uh, name, address, phone number, Google account, reviews, uh, Facebook, social media, all those things. You want to make sure those are not similar. Um, so yeah, uh, and that's pretty much it. I think I think uh, this is gonna be a good thing for uh, for SEOs doing local SEO because um, it's gonna give us more work to basically you know create a more relevant website um, and. Uh, really start driving uh, the content behind these things, behind our campaigns, I mean. So that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys next time.